Good morning everybody, how is it going? Today we are playing a Legion Commander, we're going into the top lane and this was Random Draft. This video was also sponsored, brought to you by GameLeap.com. Link down in the description, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. For now, we're just going to be playing some good old Legion Commander. And uh, honestly, I'm quite looking forward to this. They have an Omni Knight, which is a little bit irritating, admittedly. Omni Knight is definitely a problem, but the thing is, even though Omni Knight is a problem, our main ability, the duel, has like a third of his main ability, like his counter uh, in cooldown. So honestly, we are good yes. most of the time, right? Like We should be fine. One thing I'm really happy about yes. right now is, you guys know I installed that door in my apartment, in my kitchen. And I don't want to go into that again because I've explained it like a few times, right? But the point was that the cat gets to go outside and inside whenever he wants to. Because I can't really install a cat door in my apartment door, sadly. That's just not how things work. And I think we got him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. But that's just sadly not how things work. So I did it in the kitchen door. And it's been working great. Uh, Noah gets to go outside however he wants to. And there's no way. No way a cat opens up that cat door from the inside. I have tried. Trust me, I can't open it up from the inside. If I can't do it, then the cat can't do it. And I know it sounds a little bit silly to like, you know, test it, I suppose. But trust me, boys, I had a cat that was quite capable of doing this. <laughs> yeah, one of my old cats um, is, is quite the smart, a smart guy. Like one of the cats that still live at my mom's place but um he's a really really smart smart cat and what he did is he uh literally just opened the cat door right it was one of those cat doors with like a sliding lock at the bottom which is the same i have right now just you know a mild variation of it and he would just open it right you could try to close it however often you wanted to he would just open it it got really difficult to keep him inside uh, for any sort of extended period, if not just straight up impossible. Because not only would he open the cat door, right, yes. but if you put something in front of it, right, if you put like a case of, of like water, right, a case of water bottles, which is honestly quite heavy, I mean it's like oh, 12 kilos, right, it's like 12 liters of water, it's about 12 kilos in weight, right, he would just fucking open it. Like, no shit's given. <laughs> and by open it, I mean he would he would push the, the case, uh, like, away from the door and then open the door and just go outside anyway. The guy uh, is a fucking escape artist. One time we locked him into our bathroom. So what he did is he climbed into the bathroom ceiling, right? Climbed into the ceiling of the house and then proceeded to jump off the house into the garden. I'm not even joking. This legit happened. I saw the cat fly past the window. I just... He's a white cat, so it's fairly difficult to miss. But there was just this this white blur of cat sipping past the window. And I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, a little unrelated. The thing I'm happy about right now is that the cat that I have installed in our apartment. Or my grandpa, mostly. Yeah, whatever. Alright, that we've installed in here works great. Everything is working just as I hoped it would. And uh, Noah gets to go in and out as he wishes. Actually, he gets to go in as he wishes, which is a really important thing. Um, he gets to go out when I say he gets to go out. Which is basically all the time except for during the night. And then, and then Nikita stays inside all the time with no real way to escape. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm glad about that. You know, it's just nice. It's just really cool if you have an idea and it's just like, oh, oh, this worked. <laughs> that was a good idea. Oh, I'm happy about that. You know, you get that feeling where you just like, you have a thought, you try to put it into action and it just straight up works. It's just like, oh, oh, this was just a good idea then, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. Ah, God damn it, that attack speed slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Omni Knight. Omni Knight being a bit of a bitch right now. Uh, what are we going for? Straight Blade Mail. Straight Blade Mail. Don't even give a shit. Alright, uh, straight Blade Mail. Then probably some treads. 
and then Blink Dagger. At that point, likely a uh, BKB. We'll have to wait and see. Probably, most, most, most probably a BKB. Because BKB is really, really nice. But yeah, we're gonna start out with the Blade Mail and then just uh, try to get duels as early as possible. This kind of like, you know, this is, I, I, I've, I've had a very similar uh, Legion Commander build for a while now, right? And it always involved these three items. It always Treads, Blade Mail, Blink Dug. Right, and because I, I sincerely think that is the single best item build you can go for on that hero. That is just the core trifecta of power that you need on a Legion Commander. But, well, I have changed the order around a little bit. And now what I'm doing currently is I'm just straight up rushing Blade Mail. Because I want to maximize the duels, right? I want to maximize dual damage. And the way to maximize dual damage is to get an early blade mail. Because early on, honestly, you can actually get close to people just fine. People are on their lane anyway, right? They don't really expect you to come rushing out of the jungle or something. Smokes tend to provide enough movement speed. There's somebody in your lane anyway. You have your team around to help you. Right? You should be able to get close enough to, to somebody to duel them. And then you just duel them but because you have blade mail you kill them and then you snowball from there you build up a lot of dual damage and become very very powerful and that's the strategy so yeah we'll see how that goes down for us it should be fine honestly uh this is actually i i really like rushing blade mail like this i think it's super super strong um as a core Legion Commander. This is probably important, or this is definitely important to keep in mind, right? Like, if you're playing an offlane Legion Commander, it's probably better to get the Blink Dagger first, right? You probably want Boots and then Blink Dagger, because Blink Dagger is just so valuable in that scenario. But right here, we, are not as m we aren't in as much of a hurry. So, gotta keep that in mind, right? Gotta keep that in mind. We're almost level 6. Well, actually, what am I saying? We are level 6. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta be completely honest with you. Didn't sleep well. I didn't sleep well at all. You know, I woke up and I felt like I hadn't slept whatsoever. And it's just like, god damn it. But life goes on. The day doesn't stop just because I'm feeling a little tired, you know. <laughs> so I still gotta do my thing. And all of that. But but yeah, I just wanna yeah, kind of let you know. That's why I'll probably be a little bit off today. Um, okay, let's see. I don't think I can do it. Sunstrike? Oh, nice! Oh, based in Walker. Based in Walker. That was sick, man. That was sick. Alright. Coming in with the Sunstrike. That, <laughs> that was so close, too. But hey, I'm happy about it. Yeah, going for the Omni Knight like that. Uh, the problem with the Omni Knight is his aura, actually. Uh, against most other heroes, I would be able to just kill them like that. I know that sounds like, you know, oh wait, I mean, you really, really, it's that much damage with just the blade mail? It is! Oh, I promise you, it is. Uh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, but it really is that much damage. Like, you can definitely just straight up kill people with just a blade mail duel this early on. And, um, yeah, the only reason why it doesn't work against the Omni Knight is because of his slow aura. That is a little bit of an issue here. I'll come bottom, then we gank the lifesteal, okay? I got Blade Mail, I got Duel. We'll fuck him up. We'll fuck him up. So, yeah, I guess that's the plan. Uh, 3 to 1, yeah. Let's go down there. Up here, the fucker. Okay, got the blade mail on him. Just hit him. Right, you see that? There wasn't actually a sunstrike that connected there. Because, you know, the magic immunity sunstrike doesn't go through that. Does it? Actually, you know what? I don't even know. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think it does, though. It does? Ah, oh, that's just stupid. <laughs> like, honest, that, okay. That just kind of sums up my entire like mindset towards invoker which was like this there, there's no way he is that broken wait it's invoker he could be let me check oh he is of course <laughs> fuck that hero <laughs> All right. but yeah that's that is that is really nice we got a quick kill on the life stealer there 
Now, this is exactly the kind of thing you can do with Legion Commander, right? And this is why I like going for that early, early blade mail. You saw that? An early blink dagger. Yeah, it gets me closer. Right, yeah, it makes it so I get the duel guaranteed. But I still got the duel, you know? That still happened. And, um... Just the difference is I also got the kill. Which is kind of neat, isn't it? Alright, let's see if we can get top. Uh... I'm a little doubtful, if I'm completely honest. It's just Omni Knight is so fucking hard to kill, man. Oh, this guy is really, really hard to kill. Oh, well. Uh, you know, on the upside, I've got my treads now. Which I do prefer treads over over uh, face boots on this hero. For sure, for sure. But yeah. Now, let me go ahead and use this opportunity to quickly tell you guys about GameLeap.com. And actually, I want to talk about something uh, that is related to this, but, you know, not exactly what you would expect. Uh, as you guys know, I am working with Game Leap, not just in terms of the sponsorship here, like this, where I'm promoting their website and all of that, but I'm also working with them... Oh, shit, this sucks. Uh, actually, I think we might be okay. Oh, yeah, we are okay! Holy shit! There you go, Pigot coming in with the Game Leap experience. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here, you want to play like the Crystal Maiden just did? That is why you go on GameLeap.com. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We are fine. I mean, they tried so hard to kill me, but they disregarded the supports. You should never, ever do that. And that right there is exactly why. But yeah, I told you that we are working, uh, you know, together, not just in terms of sponsorship, but also I'm working for them in... I do some other things as well. For example, I make guides for them, right? And, um... Oh, shit. I am so dead, yeah. Uh, is he dead? I wonder if the storm is dead too. No, no, he's not. That's a shame. All right. But, uh, for example, I make guides for them. Now, uh, I have already written two of them. One of them I, I voiced as well and sent them off and it's all done. And they are just like, they are working on the video right now. And that should be coming in the next two or three days and we'll upload it to my channel as well. But the cool thing, and this is what I want to tell you, right? This is why I believe in this company. Because I sent off, I sent off my stuff, right? And then I'm like, here you go. I sent you some instruction, inscript, uh, like instructions on how I would like the video to be as well. And, uh, you know, it's up to you guys now. And then they make the video. And then they sent me a message back, which was like, hey, here's the video. You want to take a look before we publish it? And I'm like, sure. So I take a look. I give them my feedback, which was long. I had like 20 minute feedback on like an eight minute video. <laughs> like I recorded a video of me like reviewing their video and sent that back to them. And that was legit a 20 minute video re reviewing an eight minute video. But... <clears throat> I uh, give them my feedback, and I'm like, okay, I would like this to be changed, this to be changed, this to be changed, this to be changed. I would like this to be done this way, and I want this in this, uh, this at that time, and all of that. And all of these changes. And I was like, I like this part, but I don't think this one. I want the cuts to be faster there, and all of that. But it was very detailed. And then, the response I got from them, fantastic. We'll do it exactly the way you want it to, just give us a few days. That's why it's taking a little bit longer right now, right? This is why the video isn't online yet. It's not because they aren't, you know, willing to put the video, um, like, they're because, they're because they aren't, like, fast enough with making the video. No, it's actually because they are giving me the control to make sure the video is something that I am happy with and that it is a high-quality product. And as such, and as such, because I'm picky as shit, all right, I'm a perfectionist if it comes to this kind of crap. That's why it's taking a little while longer. Isn't that cool, though? I like that. I think that is really, really, really cool. I like that a lot. Right? So, yes, that video will be coming soon. And it will be done. Uh, and, and, uh, it will also be uploaded onto my channel. The second one will only be on their website. But the first one, and then I guess the third one will be on my channel. Every other one. But, yeah. Okay, there's a storm. Uh, oh, alright. Cool, we're going in. Ah, oh, this is not good. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we got him. Shit, I'm just trying to fight it out, man. I'm just trying to fight it out. <laughs> Dropping pretty low here. 
Okay, let's heal up that Loki. Yeah, I don't... I'm not gonna get close myself. But I don't need to. <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> get wrecked, everybody. Yeah, that's one of the beautiful things about Legion Command, of course. Press the attack can be cast on allies, which is what I just did to keep the Invoker alive, and then the Invoker continued to wreck everybody else. Alright? That was, again, a really good fight. Yeah, screw you, Omni Knight, and your physical immunity. Not today, good sir. Not today. <laughs> But yes, that is why that that is why it's taking a little while longer for that video to finish, and that is one of the reasons why I believe in this company. Right? This is why I believe in this. Because there's some as you can see, right, I have control. I'm not just somebody that gets to like, oh here you go. Guys, go on the website. No, I actually genuinely get to make sure that my part of this is something that I think is worthwhile. And I like that. So please do me the favor, go check out GameLeap.com for all of your Dota 2 guide needs. On there, you will find nice structured videos in a nice, solid, like in a nice, easy to watch format that you can uh, come back to at any time later on. They're all up to date. There's always up to date, like the videos are always made sure to be up to date. This is some, and um, yeah, this is something you can't guarantee with uh, YouTube video guides or something like that. And it is all in one place. I'm not asking you to sign up. I'm just asking you to take a look. Anyway, let's move on. There is a lifestealer down at the bottom. Can I get a nice pass down here? Okay. Sunstrike as well. Ah, oh, never mind. Don't even need dice blast. <laughs> Don't even need it. Don't even need it. Sick. All right, let's go into the mid. Let's go into the mid. God, Sunstrike is uh, invoke is such a dumb hero. God, that hero just upsets me on like an emotional, deep, deep level. Right, like it it shakes my soul. How upsetting. Invoker is to me because this hero is so retarded. Holy yes. fuck. And this is not meant to be an insult to retarded people. Got it. Right? I'm not calling Invoker a retard as a way to insult people that are actually retarded. I'm just calling Invoker a retard because it's fucking retarded. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. You always have to be careful because else the Americans will be upset and the Americans are the only people that count according to Americans. And I mean, who can who can disagree with that? Okay, cool. So now that we've made everybody upset. <laughs> so now that we upset everybody, we're at 18 minutes into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, please don't forget to leave a rating. Uh, we're going to go into the bottom because there's a fight there and uh, I feel like joining. Because I'm Legion Commander. Legion Commander is an active hero. We need to be in these fights. It's very important. Um, there we go. Ah. Omni Knight? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We got a dual victory, though. Alright, this is, this is the good news. Got another dual victory? I'm fairly sure, at least. Yeah, I killed the Axe. That definitely was in the duel. Alright, so I got a dual victory, I'm continuing to build up damage, and we're still doing fine overall. Now the question is, what item do I go for next? I think, I think I may need a BKB. Alright, so this is the thing about uh, Legion Commander. From this point on, I think you have three possible item choices, right? Those are BKB, a Soul Cross, and Desolator. Those are the items you could go for. And, um... It really depends on the game. Most of the time, I would say like 80% of the games you want to go uh, BKB. Like 80% of the games you want to go BKB, and then, you know, for the other 20%, it's a little bit more tricky than that. And I feel like this game also falls into those 80%. We have enough damage on our lineup that I do not need to really deal more. Right? We're not in a dire need for damage, that is fine. I mean, Ice Blast alone is going to be plenty. And, um... Aww. Well, at least I'll hit him with that. <laughs> at least I'll hit him with that. Yeah, my Blink wasn't quite in range. Thing is, I, I couldn't really have walked much closer without him just going out. Oh, that is bad. 
this is really, really bad. I'm dead. No. Oh, the main! The main again! With the big ultimate! Oh, shit! Come on! Get the life stealer! Get him! Yes! <laughs> oh, my God. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Big God just spends a lot more time on GameLeap.com than I do. <laughs> Oh man. Which admittedly I actually look I actually don't spend that much time on the website watching the actual videos because I'm mostly working on other stuff. Right? I just don't really have the time for that. But but yeah, I just, just I don't know. <laughs> man, these these fucking main ultimates. Oh, it's just incredible. But yeah, there you there you go. I guess actually that was mostly the counter helix. Hmm. Man, this is a hard question. Nah, I like the BKB though. I think BKB is still gonna be fine. Even though I took a lot of spin damage right there. A lot of spin damage. Yeah, kind of a problematic amount of spin damage almost. Alright. Now, do you think we can do Roshan? Because I think we can do Roshan. We just gotta, like, make sure we have vision and smokes and shit. But I think doing Roshan right now is probably a pretty solid idea. Right. You know, give an address to probably me. I don't mm -hmm. think the Mocha needs it. Oh. Oh, well, let's just fuck him up really quick, right? Yes. Um. Ooh. Well, there goes that. Try it. There goes that. Seven seconds. Hmm. Can you like not? Charge! You know what? I'm actually just let's just hide in here. Okay, somebody jump. Okay, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. He uh, life stealers inside the box. There's the axe. Okay, I got a duel there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Crepes now! Crepes! Crepes, please! please. <laughs> I need a BKB. We got two of them. I'm fine with that. Oh shit, actually, Invoker. Ah, uh, he's got Invis. He did not use it. Is it on cooldown? Can we tell? I don't think we can tell. Sunstrike? Nice! Oh my god, it's just the Venomancer though. It's actually the Venomancer that is a huge issue here. A good thing though is our oh, Invoker survived this. Alright, so Invoker staying alive is actually pretty valuable. Nah, we'll take it. We'll definitely take it. What did I die to this time? Spin. That was mostly attacks though. Fuck, I don't think the Ogre. I don't think the. I don't think the BKB. Maybe I go for the casual plate mail. Right, maybe I just tank up a little bit. Doesn't have to be too much, but a little bit. I like the casual plate mail actually. You know, that's a lot of a lot of HP I would gain from that. I can actually do the math on this if you guys want me to. <laughs> how much HP would a how much effective HP would a plate mail give me right now? Quite a bit, frankly. Um so And it's fairly cheap. Uh, yeah, you know what, like, I think we'll just pick up the blade mail, and then we'll go from there. But, I obviously just died to the life stealer killing me, right? Like, I know it sounds a bit silly, but the life stealer, life stealer has only physical damage, right? Uh, apart from his ultimate burst, but, well, that didn't hit me, and I'm not really too worried about that. It's just something you cannot prevent, really, like... He's gonna get it, even if I have BKB. There's just some things that you don't really sh I feel like you should not worry about them. Because there's nothing you can do about it. Right, and if there's nothing you can do about something, what is the point in worrying? It's not gonna get you anywhere, it's not gonna solve the issue, because you can't do anything about it. So, whatever. A ward's available now. But he's just counter warding it. Well, this is ramping up to be quite the interesting game. So our late game is going to be mostly the Invoker, which I actually think it's pretty cool that he's going for just straight Aghanims, uh, considering that, you know, that, that kind of is, is a, a pretty late game Invoker build instead of going for some more early game stuff. Um, we've got a Hand of Midas on the AA as well, so he's working towards his Aghanims. But yeah, 
I think what I'll have to do this game is just tank up like crazy. And actually, I might use the Ogre Club. Since I got that already, right? Maybe we get BKB, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see, right? But I might build this into an Aghanims. I might do that. Yeah, that could be could be a viable choice here. Because then I can just kill the life stealer, and that's pretty fucking pretty fucking strong. And this is an important thing to keep in mind about Legion Commander. Legion Commander's purpose is to kill a hero, right? If I kill the life stealer and then die, honestly, I'm quite okay with that, right? It's not an ideal scenario. I would like a little bit more, but yes. fuck it, I'll take it. Oh, there's the only knight. Oh, I'm gonna jump in. Fuck. I'm sorry. That just wasn't good. Uh, that was very obvious that was an illusion. Like, you know, you know how... I, I actually, I think all of you get what happened right there. Which was just like, my muscle memory, 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 was just like, there's an Omni Knight, I have, my brain has agreed that we're gonna do all the Omni Knight. And then my brain understood quicker that it was an illusion than my fingers did. <laughs> my fingers were already committed to going in. <laughs> oh man, mistakes were made. Yeah, that wasn't very good. That is also an illusion. It's an illusion, I yeah. I don't think so. It's dealing the damage to the creature. Oh, actually. You gave it away. Oh, no disastrous scenario. No, we're gonna go in. Cool. Got him. Oh, shit. Beat him up. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Dude, I'm not fighting that shit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fight a fucking Venomancer ultimate. That's just not gonna happen. Alright. God, yeah, that first Omni Knight illusion tripped us out pretty good. But it's fine. We got two more kills. That's quite acceptable. Although, in the meantime, the AA died. Which sucks a little bit. Eh. It's less that the AA died. That sucks. It's more who he died to. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hmm, what do we do? This is actually quite fucking, quite difficult. I mean, how's the life stealer doing? He's got his desolator. Ultimate orb? Lincolns. Mm -hmm. He's going for Lincolns. Huh. I guess I could build this into a dragon lance and then hurricane pipe. <laughs> Just a four star. Hey, some more mobility. Break the Lincoln. Nah, it's probably not a good idea. Oh shit, guys. Yeah, that's TP here. Hopefully, it's faster than running. Uh, this way, I keep my blink dagger. Okay, uh, we'll get the Venomancer. So that's good. Okay, there's him. Ooh. Oh no 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 no. Time to go, time to go. Run! You can't perch out of that? Okay, you can't perch out of that. <laughs> Alright, well, that sucked a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, they're coming in now. Ah, game is hard, man. Game is fucking hard. No, Lifesteer is definitely going Lincolns. It's the only item that makes sense. Damnation. Only thing he can really buy. I mean, sh sheepstick? No. Hate to be your Scotty, obviously not. He's got a desolator. Can't do nothing about Dyer's Leaves right Lincolns. Leaves um Manta style. Your mid tower. Manta style, really? All right, it gotta be a Lincoln. So yeah. Bad news about Just trying to avoid getting dual. <laughs> I mean, that's reasonable enough. It's just irritating as hell. <laughs> um. Uh, no. Damn it. Should've just dueled him. Are we still going? No, that's not a good idea. 
out. It's not a good idea. Like smoke Can I have some? Oh, fuck. Alright, let's kill him. Oh, I'm slow, that's all hell. Okay, just fight him. Just fight him. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Alright, that's the new strategy. Just fucking fight him. Alright, up you go. Down you come. Oh! <laughs> that worked. That worked. I'll fucking take it, man. Holy shit. Ooh, that could have ended badly. Uh, it didn't, so that's good. <laughs> So that's good. Alright, get my AC. Now I'm just gonna kill Rashad really quick. Yeah, that gives me a gives me an AC that's pretty powerful. And um Well the thing is since he's going for Lincolns, if he's going for Lincolns, right, it makes my ultimate worse because it makes it makes it significantly less reliable. Feel free to take it. Uh but it makes my ultimate significantly less reliable. So, since my ultimate is less reliable now, I don't think I actually want to commit to it. I'm gonna get a Hurricane Pike. This is gonna turn into a... Uh, this is gonna turn into a Hurricane Pike. I like the mobility. I don't think I need the BKB that badly. I think I'm fine in terms of that. The mobility would be sick as hell, and also I can cancel Lincolns with it. Right, and it's definitely an item that gives me more than the Lincolns gives a life stealer. So the life stealer uh, is actually gonna be at a disadvantage. Or I could also get the, the um, Heaven's Halberd. That works too. Structures must have been fortified. That is the other option. Okay, uh, so guys, I, I'm, I'm, this is kind of hard right now for me. Um, yeah, they have Lincolns. So, do I get a Hurricane Pike? Or Heaven's Halberd? Okay, but I already have an Ogre Club. See, that's kind of the problem here. I think Hurricane Pike is better. Halberd isn't gonna help. No, Wastealer yeah. can just rage it off or they can... Yeah, Halberd is gonna help against the Lincolns. No, so does Hurricane Pike though. And it's got a lower cooldown. I can save it. <laughs> no. I like Hurricane Pike. I like Hurricane Pike. Mm -hmm. I'm almost there already. So that's good. Ice Blast. Oh. Based Ice Blast. Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> oh god. Well... <laughs> oh, Lifestealer, man. He just destroyed me. He just destroyed me. God, that is... That is... That, that hurts. Uh, this is greedy as hell. From both sides. Oh, no. Pushing him out of that was a bad idea. Cold snap? No, no cold snap. Alright, uh, the good thing is we do have... Yeah, there we go. Oh, but the rage again. Just go in this. Korea died. That's no good. That wasn't impressive. That was not pretty. No. That sucked. Alright. Oh, what can you do? I almost got my Hurricane Pike, though. Yeah, I, I, I did too, if I'm completely honest. And I think we could have. Or, like, they. I think they woke if he had just gone for a cold snap a little bit earlier. But what's done is done. No point to dwelling on the past. You know, no point to, like, crying about it. So. I got my four stuff now. I actually like that. I like the additional mobility. No? Makes me feel like a pro. <laughs> you wanna look like a pro? Buy four stuff on a hero where you're like, what? Wait a second. <laughs> That's what the pros do. 
That's exactly how they do it. Yes. Alright. It's like the edgy choice, you know. Let's get over here. Smart move. Ooh. Hard game, hard game. But we got the Hurricane Pike. So Hurricane Pike, of course, is much nicer than just the four stuff because the signif because it has a significantly lower cooldown. Can also use it to actually push myself away from the life stealer. Um, it doesn't doesn't um, give me the unlimited attack range thing, right? Sadly, yes. that would be pretty sick if it did, but it doesn't. <laughs> but no. But hey, I'm pretty sure we can still use the, the pushing away from each other aspect. That should still work fine. So this is where I go for uh, another item, right? Like for the late game. In uh, I think Abyssal Blade probably makes the most sense. Again, I'm not really here for all that much damage. Like that's not what my team needs me for. I am the initiator. I'm the guy that goes in. I'm also the one that hopefully kills the life steal. Although that shit is starting to look tough as all hell, man. Tough as all hell. Oh, there's a. Uh, he's got a link and stuff. Oh, sick. Yeah, you did. All right, main, main. Main! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh shit, the screw. Oh. Uh, okay. Away, away, away. Switch that shit off. Where is he? Still here, isn't he? There he is. Yeah. Okay. I'm still good. Oh shit. Alright. Fuck him up. Oh no, no. That is not what I had in mind. <laughs> Heal him up. Heal him up. <laughs> oh shit. At least you will survive. God, all of these fights are going so much worse than I want them to. Yeah, he'll be fine though. He's fine. Venomancer, man. Venomancer, he deals a lot of damage. Maybe I still go for the Heaven Snowbird. No, Abyssal Blade is just better. Abyssal Blade is just straight up better. Like, then Heaven Snowbird, like... Pff. 90% of the time, that's uh, just a better item, so... Yeah, I don't like that too much. Oh, man. <laughs> Game is hard. Uh, I see a storm sapping around. Oh, into the bottom. Blink out. He's still dusted up, though. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Hello. What are you doing here? Alright. Is he out of dust range? No, he got hit again. But he's really fast, so he should be fine. Repositioning. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't think there's anything else I can really do. I, I Actually, you know an item that is super good against Lifestealer is Scotty. But that's really something that, like, the Invoker should get. Alright. Not really me as the Legion Commander. Not a Legion Commander item, that's for sure. That's for sure. Do you like smoke up? Try to gank something? Or... Venomancer is a huge issue in these fights. Because even if we win a fight, it always seems like we, you know, he just kind of ma makes us take so much damage anyway. Oh my god. Oh yes! Shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Omni Knight though. Omni Knight, Omni Knight, Omni Knight. She's fucking us up. Okay, down they go, down they go. Oh yeah! Going just as expected. Cool, everything going according to plan, right? Yeah! Gameleap.com, ladies and gentlemen. Gameleap.com, where you can, where to you too can learn to initiate like a mad man. And then somehow come out ahead. Really, even even though you shouldn't at all, <laughs> but, but we won that fight quite convincingly too. <laughs> Holy crap, that was really really good. Yeah, I mean they keep jumping me because I like that's the thing too, right? Like I initiate like a madman. They counter initiate me. The Magnus counter initiates that, and then that's just game. Oh shit! Nah, I'm out. Fuck, I forgot about it. 
I had the storm in mind. Not the... Not him. Not him. That's okay. Uh, we'll still get barracks. I would have liked to get that kill, but we'll take the barracks. Oh, that, ir that is irritating. It was very annoying. Very annoying. All right, they're back. They're back. Guess who's back? Back again. Storm and his friends. That's who's back. Hello. Hello, creeps. How you doing? All right. Uh, I don't know what the courier is doing there, but I guess I'll send it back. <laughs> I guess I'll just send it back. Oh, okay. Alright, let's just go. Dude, I'm gonna take you down, I don't care. Oh, sick! That missed everything. That is huge. That is actually super fucking big. Okay. EMP. Okay, TP out. I like that. That's very smart here. Oh, the bash. <laughs> I'd like to see that definitely spends a lot of time on GameLeap.com. <laughs> mm. I'm actually just waiting for my duel to come back. I don't know if I should. Yeah. Okay. Got a few seconds on a duel. Seven seconds on a duel. Then we'll fuck him up. Oh, no. No. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. That was close, but it worked. <laughs> oh god. Holy crap. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it if his Lincolns was triggered. So I cast my, so I cast my uh, force staff on him, but then uh, that pushed him away from me, you know, pushed us away from each other. And then I wasn't sure, if, like I was, I was really praying his Lincoln's doesn't come back off cooldown during that. <laughs> oh god, that would have been so awful. But it is fine, it worked. I now have a basher. With the basher, I can actually fight even without duel. Right, like in that last encounter, I was just relying entirely on the duel. I don't think I have to do that with, with the basher. Because then people can't run away so easily. Right, that's like... That was the same issue with every fucking melee carry, right? Like, they all have the same problem, which is people just fucking run away from them. Right, and if they just run away from them, there's not really much you can do. <laughs> it's just... Ah, well, yeah. I guess, you know, I guess that sucks. I guess that sucks. Okay. Uh, let's go bottom, I guess. Smoke up, try to get a kill, maybe. Hmm. All right, we got a Magnus with a very aggressive possibility now. You know, you can't just kind of. I can't, I'm just. Should I just go in? Uh, fuck it. If I see the life steal again, I'm jumping in. Fuck. Blink dagger cancelled by the void. Nope. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Just need to wait until blade mail is of cooldown. I need blade mail. <laughs> Blade mail is the most important item. Alright. Yeah, these wards are actually kind of stopping me from going in. Stinks a little bit, but yeah. What can you do? Oh shit! Okay, uh. Just gonna fight it out, I guess. Oh, oh no, yeah, he's getting dual damage, isn't he? <laughs> okay. Well. This is not good. This is not good. He had activated the rage, so my, like, I don't know. I hurricane piked myself. That was not a great fight. Mm -mm. 
not the worst thing in the world. Right, we only lost one more hero than they did. And they lost the storm, which was pretty big. But also not great. And it's just hard to initiate into the base like that. It really is. And the life stealer makes it tricky, you know, with the magic immunity. I gotta be super quick. I gotta be super quick. I gotta jump in. Cast the force, uh, like the hurricane pike, on him before he can activate his rage. Because it doesn't go through BKB. Right, so if he, if he activates rage, then I actually can't really do anything. And that's what happened right there. What I should do in that scenario then is I should blink out. Or not blink out, but force stuff myself out. Because I do have that second mobility tool. It's just not that easy, man. You know? Like, <laughs> like you say it like that, right? You say like, Bomi, why don't you just force stuff yourself out, dude? I'm trying. Game is fucking hard. <laughs> Game is fucking hard. Oh, man. How much dual damage? 186 though. So, uh, I do hit quite hard. I got that going on at least. Oh yeah, I deal a lot of damage with that. Shit ton of damage. Isn't that funny how he disappears for a tiny bit here? Into the fog of war. You can't even see the fog of war. It's such a small spot. Excess pipe and BKB does an awesome hit with bloodstone linkers. Mm. And dust. The linkers are really the issues here. I like the issue here. Yes. Venom has said the yolks. Okay. Oh, everybody's here. Well, oh, that's fun. Okay. Just take them down. Or do whatever the hell Crystal Maiden is doing. That works too. <laughs> All right. Think I should do it. Actually, yeah, they kind of screwed up towards the end there. Ah, dude, you can't get caught out like that. We're not after 46 minutes. Okay, there's one buyback. But he already used his ultimate. I mean, he's probably got Aghanim, so the cooldown is pretty low, but... He's still pushing before 60 seconds. Problem is the two people are left. Actually, both have the, the Lincolns. Okay. Oh shit, man. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's duel him. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I am ready to commit 666 victories, baby. Look at that. Yeah. I think I think that's a nice number to end this on. Can I get my abyssal bite? Come on, give me a bash. Yeah. You go down, my friend. You go down. All right, cool. Um, we should go top. Let's go top, top, top. We can kill a tower really quickly. I put out a ton of damage, right? Like 222 dual damage. I just hit like a fucking truck. Look at this. All right. Then I also got, <laughs> I got in power. <laughs> I got alacrity. Yeah, I'm a fucking god, man. Duel, got him. All right. Also got a bash, actually. Hey, GameNeep.com for all of your first hit bashing needs, boys! <laughs> That's game. Sick! And what a game that was. That was a really, really cool game. I enjoyed that. Hogger, you wanna the set? I kinda like it, man. That was a cool game. The this time. We did it. It's mine. We did it. Alright. I still haven't gotten that quest I'm trying to do. <laughs> trying to do that forever. But yeah. Well, yeah, look at that. Uh, I actually had the highest net worth in the game. Crazy. Yeah, I, I was just really aggressive, right? Like, I was going around, ganking people. I had 17 kills. <laughs> Tied with the maiden for highest. <laughs> yeah, player net worth, you can see, right? It's just me and Invoker kind of fighting for it. I'm actually surprised I, I ended on top. And Life Stealer was first here. Like, you can really see it was actually quite close just with the Life Stealer being so powerful. But yeah. Anyhow, let me go ahead and do the giveaway really quick. And then that's going to do it for today. So, while we do that, I want to quickly remind you guys to again go to gamelead.com, link down in the description. And I'm not asking you to sign up. If you sign up, 
please use the code. Just It's just going to make it cheaper for you, right? Like that's the whole point. That's why I say that. Use the code, makes it cheaper for you. I earn a little bit of money too, but that's really not the main thing, right? But the thing is, uh, go on the website and just take a look. Eh, just take a look. That's all I want from you. Today's winner is... Hasik Safi, you win, and you win this. What is it? Toll of the Fearful Arya. Uh, looks like that. It's a Phantom Assassin set. I don't really like it, but hey, if you do, then that's fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.